Welcome back all lore here. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick map overview of everything we did on the Great Plateau. Uh, just in case you want to explore on your own, of course. I've kind of outlined all the major stuff. Uh, treasure chests, Karak seeds. I have to kind of zoom in, especially for the Karak seeds. But uh, all these treasure chests are in plain view. You might have to climb up a tower as per here. Or kill a bad boy nest off to get, say, that one there. Uh, that one's on top of the overhang. That croc seed is underneath the overhang. That croc seed is quite tricky. You have to put that metal door just under the bridge. Swirling, glistening pile of leaves. Uh, this croc seed is a big block of ice to melt. This one is underneath the great wall. It's a puzzle block configuration. Circle of rocks, stasis plate to move, rock to pick up. Both of those are just underneath a great wall. Uh, blow up a false wall to get to the treasure chest. Move a boulder right next to the shrine. Plain view, plain view, plain view. Uh, these, they're awful close together, but those are all behind the waterfall there. Uh, it's a nice little armory back there. You got a loose weapon and three treasure chests. And to get there, you got to enter through here. There's a cave. You walk right behind the waterfall. That one is on a ledge right next to the waterfall. There's actually two treasure chests underwater here. Uh, I didn't stamp one of them. The other one is uh, right about in front of where I put that stamp. Bad boy nest under the overhang there and that is behind some wooden planks that are kind of in the way with some bees buzzing around. That one there is down. You actually have to go down to the bottom. Uh, you can't do that until you're done with the Great Plateau of course. A uh, false wall to blow up. That treasure chest only appears once you've completed the Great Plateau, assuming you did not get the uh, warm doublet from the old man first. That one's on the Great Wall. That's only there if you bought the DLC. And both of these are big metal doors you have to move out of the way to pick up a rock. One is on the Great Wall, one is underneath the Great Wall. In the pond in the old ruin. That's on top of the steeple on the Temple of Time. That one is inside the steeple of the Temple of Time. Behind a false wall. Ring of lily pads. Both of those are when you first emerge out of your uh, sleeping chamber in the Shrine of Resurrection. That one only appears in the bathtub you awoke in after you've completed the Great Plateau and only after you've made landfall off the Great Plateau somewhere else, and a message appeared that said, Kingdom of Hyrule. Okay, let's move on now to... This is going to be the uh, area around the Magnesis Shrine. DLC treasure chest right next to the shrine. Both of these are in the little pond there next to it. Pick up the ball, put it in the hole with Magnesis, pick up the rock underneath the uh, ro rocks that are kind of piled on top of each other. A pile of leaves you have to move out of the way. That one was a rock to pick up on top of a little hilltop looking thing. False wall to blow up. Uh, this crack seed here started back here. That's the log that's decayed laying on its side. You follow the yellow flower until it turns white. Bad boy nest to dispatch. I put that skull there to show the stone talus. And I think that pretty much covers the Great Plateau, folks. I didn't quite get over here yet. On the Great Wall. Inside the skull. Uh, climb a stone pillar. And these two are just on the platform of that tree. 
To get up there, you can either shoot the two pieces of rope holding up the drawbridge or fly in from this shrine. Either way, you can get there. Or you can actually uh, climb that stone pillar and fly in from that way as well. This one is a ring of rocks out in the water. You have to throw a rock. Uh, you have to use an ice block to get the rock far enough out. And that pretty much covers it. That is our overview of the Great Plateau. Happy hunting, folks!